taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Cas or Casper, which is pumping at the time of recording this video. One of the reasons that this may be pumping is the recent AMAs. Not only that, but we see the Casper uh, Alpha Rust release coming up on April the 15th, uh, which is just about a week away at the time of recording this video. So this could be a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event. Okay, guys. Bear that in mind. I think the worst case scenario, not financial advice, do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. But worst case, we could see it retest potentially the all-time high. Okay, guys. And if that does it too quickly, we're probably going to see a rejection before coming down, finding a base and trying to go for a third attempt. If that doesn't happen, I uh, could be completely wrong. And we could be coming down all the way down to uh, this level down here at around one point excuse me 1.5 cents like i've mentioned in previous videos but um it was super early this dump could have continued but what we see is we found a base okay we found a base this is on the the short time frame of course this is the four hour we have found a little bit of a base if we go on to the one day okay guys it just looks like a green candle so not much of a base so this could well uh, this move could still be waiting to complete this could whip down um, over the next couple of days or you know if, if we this candle closes of course in the next few hours uh, we could see a red candle that comes back down or a few red candles over the days that will come back down and we could probably see this come down further but um the fact that casper are bringing news out now it seems pretty pretty strategic doing the amas and things like that of course we want to keep momentum for this chart okay guys and when the whole market is not looking too good casper is going absolutely nuts now it says minus 17 percent down or 17.8 percent down on crypto bubbles of course this is over the week all right guys but you will find that cas is keeping itself relevant here in a nice big bubble on crypto uh, crypto bubbles is turning up all over the place whether it be red or green um no news is bad news okay news whether it be red or green in my opinion is good news because this is just basically promotion right we can see cas popping up on videos all over the place people are going to look into it and think yo what is cas okay guys so cas of course is up um it is actually up for the day and going into the next week uh, by tomorrow you we'll probably see this turning green if we keep pumping okay guys because this is over the previous week okay guys and this week is coming to an end in uh, approximately uh four to five hours six hours utc actually okay guys so uh yeah i mean we are seeing the price move we broke this uh downward sloping resistance um it tried to come back down for retest we see people buying it back up so that is pretty good news people are watching this chart and you, all this is is a picture of people's behavior guys this is people's behavior right and this is just telling us that people or the the majority are bullish on casper people are holding it people are buying it okay you get a few people selling it nothing wrong with that take some profits okay but where somebody else sells, that's always an opportunity for somebody else to buy those bags for cheaper. So that is pretty bullish. Okay, guys, what's release again coming up on April the 15th. I noticed this is on more exchanges than what I've actually talked about on the channel. Gate.io, MEXC and CoinX, as well as TXBit and Trade Oga and Hotbit. Okay, guys, my go-to is Cas. Uh, sorry, not Cas. My go-to is uh, the USDT pair on MEXC. Okay, guys, and uh, we also have XT, Digifinex, and Bing X. All right, guys, now I've been talking about MEXC exchange tokens so much lately that MEXC have actually contacted me. I haven't responded um, as of yet, but um, yeah, this is not sponsored. Okay, I choose MEXC uh, for the simple fact that that's where I buy it. Okay, and there's been a lot of gems that are being uh, uh, listed by MEXC earlier than a lot of other exchanges i've noticed this for about a year or so right mexc they tend to just rush in and list projects that show a glimmer of bullishness that doesn't mean they always get it right but i do believe that they got it right with cas okay guys so cas super bullish on that the founder jonathan sompolinski okay um you want to check him out he has a good track record um if you compare cas for example with something like cardano right Cash right now is at a 582 or 580, just changed 581, just under 
million market cap fully diluted at 935 just under a billion okay guys now cardano right now is sitting at 13.5 billion okay guys and at its previous all-time high it was sitting at about 91 billion market cap i'll just show you uh over here okay guys if we go back to go back to the overview and we go to the market cap okay this was sitting at if we go to all this was sitting at approximately 91 just under 92 billion market cap okay guys just imagine if cash can reach that level because cash in my opinion is just as good okay guys is just as good and um, um it's newer okay cardano is old right now um they've had lots of delays and things like that there's no hype really on cardano apart from the people that really truly believe in it right but with casper casper is new it's hype okay guys and uh, going into the next bull run like i've said over and over again i believe that these new coins or new tokens or new projects okay we're going to see a lot of bullishness for those particular projects because they haven't had a bull run yet and the first bull run is the most exciting bull run on these particular projects okay guys so with cas uh, i i certainly believe that like i've said in previous videos it will exceed the 1.5 billion market cap potentially even in the short term that's only 2x from where we're sitting less than 2x uh, or 3x sorry from where we're sitting okay guys and um yeah i think we're going to do much more than 3x so can this get to 20 billion 13 billion just like cardano if it gets to 13 billion you've made it you're going to sit you're going to be sitting on a huge uh, you're going to be taking profits probably okay guys you're going to be seeing life-changing money um so yeah jonathan sompolinski of course he's not charles hoskinson um we don't know much about him he's not as famous but in the development community he is pretty well known another thing that i noticed is that ran nuna from crypto banter is now following jonathan sompolinski i don't know if he was following him before but um he is following him at least and um you know if we go to the cast twitter let's see if ran is following the cast twitter yep he's following the cast twitter so who knows maybe they'll be talking about it on crypto banter pretty time soon because crypto banter is a pretty huge youtube channel okay guys if we go to crypto banter if we go to youtube and i do watch crypto banter i am a fan of the channel okay i like the banter the crypto banter very fitting name okay so if we go to crypto banter in fact i've got it right there okay <laughs> i'm subscribed so crypto banter they have how many subscribers um where's the subscriber list i should know this because i am an influencer all right let's just click on a video okay guys so we see that they have 619,000 subscribers so they could be a big um a big uh, uh youtube channel they could soon be talking about casper of course that's going to be bullish and that opens up casper to their community as well so I think this is super early. I think there's a lot to look forward to with this particular project. Hence the fact why I'm still holding tokens. The chart is bullish. Hence the fact I'm still holding tokens. I don't believe that this run is over. Hence the fact why I'm still holding tokens. And, um, you know, who knows where this could be in the next 24 months going into the next bull run. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. But uh, that's it for this video. Do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm let me know what you think in the comments okay guys tick the little bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in the very next video